The stage was set for the Formula 2 season closer in South Africa. Eric Stark, the three-time world champion, was looking to make history at the Free State Grand Prix by winning his fourth title in a row. Only the French newcomer Peter Morin had a slight chance to also win the championship, but with a gap of 18 points to Stark, he needed lots of luck, but even so, he was ready for the challenge. Uh, until the, the, the arriving flag is not uh, down, uh, everything is possible, so we, we try to make the best uh, things for us and uh, uh, try to push, but uh, we will see uh, at the end of the race. Everybody was expecting a triple fight between Stark, Morin and Landin, who made Eric Stark's life pretty hard at the race in Milan. But now also Rip Temper wanted a piece of the cake and qualified second for the Free State Grand Prix. Pierre Landin was first in Q2 and the final boat and single shootout in Q3. But it didn't even make 50 meters to throw him back to 10th place on the grid. Uh... <laughs> I had some uh, fuel problems, so uh, uh, it didn't go my way today, or yesterday, but um, uh, yeah, I had some fuel problems, that's all. <laughs> so the lucky man after qualifying was Eric Stark. He took pole position by knowing his biggest rivals, Morin and Landin, would enter the Grand Prix from 6th and 10th spot. Uh, you know, it was a little bit sad because it's always it's more fun to to win when you know when the, the second guy is you know trying his best. But you know, this time he couldn't he couldn't do his lap. So you know, it was a little little bit sad for us. But uh, you know, we're happy about the pole position. Big disaster hit Bimba Sjöholm and Mette Brand Bjergnes. The two ladies had their big moment in Q2. Both drivers walked away uninjured, but unfortunately both boats couldn't be fixed for the race. So only 15 boats entered the Free State Grand Prix in Sasselberg. Anyway, Eric Stark pushed away from the field very quickly and the title came closer lap by lap. Also Rip Temper was in a comfortable second position. Eric Edin suffered from technical problems and had to let Österberg, Landin and Morin go and even had to completely retire from the race later. So now the chance for third was up to Österberg, Landin and Morin, who made a great show throughout the whole race. Österberg couldn't rest because even if Landin's attacks failed, Morin took every chance to take his spot. This breathtaking battle lasted almost till the finish line and made the South African Grand Prix a thriller once again. At the front everything was under control for Eric Stark. The Swede won the race and also his fourth world championship title. We did it uh, this year again, you know, same team, we worked really hard and, you know, in the end we had a really good, good boat and a uh, fast boat and, you know, season has been amazing. Rip Temper finally kept everything together till the finish line and came second, with Österberg getting rid of his followers and saving his first podium of the season. I know I have a fast boat in these conditions because it's not uh, so fast, but uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit more performance for next year. I was aiming for a top three, but uh, okay, I'm really happy with it because it was a, a season ending and I want to be in top uh, at the end. So. With these three up on the podium, it was also clear that Peter Morin is the new Vice World Champion in his first F2 season with his CTIC China team. So this was the last race of an action-packed and spectacular Formula 2 season 2014. After the race is before the race, so keep on following F2 in 2015 on Facebook or f2worldchamp.com. Wow, 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 wow.